What's up guys? So it Arc Knight's Cold of Brawl right around the corner. I want to take the time to talk about the new units that's going to be coming out with it and looking at the kits and basically telling you guys my initial thoughts and impressions on how good I think they are and like what they could bring to the table. So without further ado, let's talk about these characters. So we have Mei who's the sniper. We have Bison who's going to be a defender, five star defender. Uh, Waifu who is a five star specialist. And of course the banner unit herself, uh, Moistima, who is a six star caster. So uh, first of all, we're going to start talking about Mei. Now, Mei is a little interesting because she tries to be a DPS support type class. So what she brings to the table basically is she's going to have the ability to basically slow units down. Um, basically, first off, talking about her talent, um, pretty good attack plus seven percent and attack speed plus seven percent on the e2 that's not bad of course plus eight if you could get the potential six um so first get right here paralyzing bullet so next attack has a hundred percent attack power 170 attack power and can slow the target for uh two seconds now this skill is pretty similar to like a jessica Except for now you have the ability to slow the targets with it. So it's actually pretty good. So if you're using Jessica and you actually are using Jessica's like S1, you might as well just put in this unit. Um, just because of um, the ability to like slow down pretty much. Now the other thing is Bonding Shock. So this skill right here is pretty unique. It's same like... It, you know once you get skill 2 you might as well switch over unless you don't feel like doing using manuals then i guess you can still use the skill but just skill overall is just a better version uh so slightly increased attack intervals plus 50 percent and attack plus 90 percent uh attack slow for 0.9 seconds and have a 30 percent chance to stun for one second so you get a, a guaranteed slow and then you're going to be able to stun them for one second with a 30 percent chance there so you're going to have good attack. It has a very good duration. Um, as you can see here. If you do side to max it out. Um, it's a full 120 attack. So it bumps up a lot. And that becomes a uh, 1.2 second stun. And a uh, 1 second slow. Um, I do wish the like percentage went up a little bit here. But it doesn't. There's nothing like makes the percentage of the stun goes up. So that's a little bit weaker. Also her. If we go to her like uh, like numbers here. Uh, she isn't the strongest in attack power for a sniper DPS. So she's like a, like, I don't know, like weaker than average pretty much. Like slightly weaker than average when it comes to like her strength as a DPS. So she wants to be like sort of like a support and a DPS. And I guess that's why they try to make her a bit um, weaker as far as her actual DPS numbers. So she's going to be able to play like two roles, but at a sacrifice of a little bit DPS. So that's pretty much what May does. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty decent unit. Like I said, if you if you're playing Jessica, uh, she could potentially be a a swap out there for that unit. Uh, but next, let's talk about the boy, the defender, five star Bison. Now Bison is an interesting unit, but I think niche in some aspects. Um, first of all, his talent I think is pretty cool. Uh, you could definitely play around with this, especially with like some vanguards that like. Or, uh, I mean, some guards that you, like, put in front, you know, like, frontline guards and stuff like that. Um, you can, like, uh, apparently, some some people are saying, like, you can, like, face them backwards. And then, like, you'll basically still get the buff. Because basically how it works is, uh, when deployed, uh, defense plus 50% for the E2. Apply the same effect to the operator behind. So, if you face him, like, backwards, uh, then he would, like, get the effect. It's pretty weird. Uh, you, so you could do like some weird things to like make sure they, they have more defense and then he's still able to defend, uh, you know, behind like the goal or whatever. Then the other things about this character, uh, they have some pretty good defense too. Uh, you could like sort of like compare them to like um, Korra, but you know, Korra is a four star. So she's going to be a little bit more easier to basically... Um, basically to manage because she don't need like as many resources as he does to uh basically get started uh he does have the benefit of his e2 his e1 is pretty standard uh just you know basic defense buff thing but his e2 is actually i mean it's, uh yeah skill 2 is actually pretty unique and it as it's the only skill in the game currently that like can pull aggro so you know basically it treats 
the unit as if he's the last person to be placed down and basically he could take uh the aggro from enemies like annoying enemies and stuff that will like you know um be hitting like your snipers and stuff like that did you pace down last and you don't want them to die so it says stops attacks attacking enemies defense plus 80 percent allies and four adjacent tiles gain defense plus 25 percent bison becomes a higher priority target for enemies so that's pretty cool so he gains more defense he stops attacking though but he gains more defense and he's able to take the aggro from the uh other people and you can see the range right here so it has like a a weird range in as some aspect of it um so i don't one thing i don't know about the skill and it makes me a little bit iffy on it is if like this is the rain only the range where it like pulls the aggro from if it's not further than that then it makes it even a little bit more like niche than i thought um but yeah like i said he has pretty good defense on arrival and core but i know when i was like reading on his unit and i was, like trying to find more information um you know people just kept um, comp um comparing him to her and it's like i don't know some people think that he could be useful for it some people think that you're just better off still using her but like i said he just feels very niche in the aspect and like unless you're trying to like try like a very specific game plan of like pulling aggro or like you know giving more defense to like your frontline guard or something like that then it's just better to like use like another not so uh resourceful um defender but yeah so bison like i said is pretty he's okay he's okay i don't think too highly of him but i don't think too bad of him either uh, so if this is something that you're interested in doing then definitely uh check bison out all right so now to talk about this girl waifu i see what you did there i see what you did with the name waifu huh i see she uh she looks very cute um what is she like uh is she a tiger or something like that i don't know but she looks pretty cute i gotta admit um so she is going to be very similar to project red in some aspects uh so she's fast uh redeploy and debuff so she's going to have that going for uh, as far as you can like you know put her down she does it she does what she do and then you take her out and then basically she can come back really fast so really good thing there uh to have so uh trait uh talent here is going to be um when attacking 20 percent chance to increase attack to 150 and knock the tone uh target back with very small force so that's pretty good but low percentage unfortunately but if it does happen then you can have good runs but uh pretty rng heavy as far as that talent goes so i don't uh really think too i, I really don't like too much rng especially low percentages when it comes to like my skills especially if there's no way to like buff the percentages then i think it's a little bit uh weaker in some aspects when when there's stuff like that but uh that's a lot so uh you you probably wouldn't be banking on that talent too much uh because of the uh increase in attack but um very similar to um project red like i said so she's going to come in with a uh, at a uh, seven attack plus 55 percent after deployment adjusting the attack um inflicts minus 30 percent and attacks the target for three seconds so you drop her down and bam she's going to be doing massive damage as soon as you come out she's very good at killing like certain like problem units very squishy units and stuff like that, that um that like will probably mess you up maybe it's like one too many you got to get rid of one so you just place her to like stop him for a second take her out and then bam her job's done but the main thing you're going to be using her for is this skill this is like where the uniqueness of this character lasts uh is this great aoe skill right here that has this unique ability so immediately deals 240 damage to all nearby enemies in this area right here uh after deploying and still their special abilities for seven seconds if you do put her at max you can get it to eight seconds so if you don't like deal dealing with like special abilities of units and stuff like that you can put her down and seal their abilities for seven seconds if you max it um m3 it then you can do it for eight seconds that is pretty good however um when i talk to people about like this skill or like when i um i don't know when i just hear about it people say like project red is still better somehow because um stun is like more preferred uh than a than like this so apparently people like to have a stun more than like a seal but hey if you're into the seal like you know you could find like a a role for that then definitely she i mean she could work especially if you don't have a project red then this character could definitely work 
uh, just as good. You know, you could use her pretty much the same way you would use a Project Red, but instead of having a stun, you just have a uh, a special ability still. And like, I don't know if every, I'm pretty sure every unit doesn't have a special ability, so maybe a stun would be more um, consistent in like stopping certain things. But um, yeah, you know, because a stun just stops them completely. A seal just like seals them. So especially like because typically the these type of units are very squishy like project red it gives them more time to dps than getting hit and this don't so it just spell it just like steals their special ability um not their actual like attacking interval so that is a like you know a thing that project red has over waifu but yeah besides that i mean she's a pretty decent unit like i said pretty similar but just rather if you rather have a seal or if you rather have a stun so if you got both then just play around with which one you prefer on the map that you're playing on but next is time to talk about moistima so moistima i think is a great unit i don't think there's nothing else i can like really say about it um she she's pretty she's really good uh she has high attack amazing uh aoe crowd control and a support all within one caster let's talk about it um so first of all she has two talents uh her first talent is a sp regen so uh at e2 when deployed all ally casters operators sp regen speed of plus 0.4 sp per second uh this doesn't um stack with uh similar effects as it says so if you have another character that has that they're not going to stack so just keep that in mind so i guess the like the highest one would just like take priority her um other talent is really good too so movement speed of enemies within attack range minus 15 percent on the e2 that is really good um, and it goes very well with her skill 3, which we'll talk about in a second. Her first skill is pretty standard uh, stuff here. Uh, you know, generic attack buff pretty much. So max out at 100%. Nothing really special there. Her S2 is really good though too. Uh, this is one of the best crowd controls I've like seen. Uh, stun all enemies within the attack range. So stun all enemies within the attack range. And inflict 80% magic damage to them every second. So they're going to be stunned so you see the duration right here so at max you get it to seven so seven seconds um they're gonna be stunned within the attack range and inflicting 140 percent magic damage to them every second it only lasts 70 uh, seven seconds but that's a lot of magic damage and she has very high attack uh sitting at 855 at a uh, max for her uh, max one is like 855 right uh 750 but with the uh with the other buff it could go higher so that's really good and then her skill three um this is where it gets kind of crazy increase the attack range so you see this is like her attack range right here for the skill three look at this this is huge look at this increase attack range uh attacks change to ripples that spread outwards attack plus 60 percent. and this is uh let me just go to m3 here so attacks plus 170 percent and uh talent 2 effect increased to three times and attack push the targets back with small force so th this not back isn't going to be too much but the fact that you can put this up to three times which means you're going to be getting 45 percent movement speed decrease i mean they're going to be very slow uh, you can very you can definitely slow down these units very well with this skill three uh, and this range is huge look at this range it's a very very big range so this is a caster you got a huge range for this and you can slow them down so much while dealing damage um that's very good so great crowd control and good damage so you, you basically have a support and a caster all in one and she keeps like high damage along with it that's really good um i like you can't say more but obviously if you want to like have the region you have the region as well but the fact that you know the talent two is getting buffed like that that is really good too so this unit has really good um has really good stats like i said i am very pleased with how this unit actually has turned out um this unit will definitely probably be like a a definite pull uh, i think she's very strong she seems very strong uh splash match damage so of course she has aoe so she's an aoe -er, so if you don't have like a follower or something like that and you need like a you know really strong aoe -er, this unit is really good for that especially with the ability to support and be able to manipulate the movement speed of the enemies that's very good that's very good kit right there um with the ability to either stun or the ability to like change their movement speed in both one kit you know between the skill two and the skill three 
you have a very good kit here so moistima i think is going to be a very uh popular pulled unit for the uh her banner for sure so definitely definitely can't wait to try my luck at trying to get her unfortunately i probably won't be able to like show you guys my pulls like i've been uh, doing lately uh because i will be out of town um by the time you probably guys probably see this video but uh i definitely will be trying my luck and rooting for all you guys that are going to be pulling for her anyway like i said i just wanted to cover all the units get my personal opinions on how i think each unit is based on their toolkits and things that i've been hearing the community talk about and stuff like that anyway if you like anything you have to say drop me a like i greatly appreciate it and if you want to hear more from me follow me on my socials also don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you know the next video goes live as always my name is daikin and i'll see y'all next time signing out <laughs>